Ask Reddit by NoEDU 1998. What are the cons of not having kids? I work in TV and the hours are notoriously brutal, especially when you're starting out for years. A friend of mine kept a pic of his wife and two kids on his desk so when producers would roll in with notes at 6pm to get him to work late he would just point at the pic plays, recitals, the flu, no babysitter, whatever. Found out years later it was photoshopped, he's married now, with kids. I work in sports broadcasting and the hours are fluctuating every time depending on the game time and I do not want to stop what I am doing to have a child. I am one of the very few women that runs camera and the other one has a high schooler but I am 23 and I am scared for my co-workers to start badgering me cause they're all parents. Well I'm in my 60s and I don't have kids. The downside is now I don't have any family, I'm the last one left. Keep your head up bro. No one to avenge your death. Inigo Montoya has entered the chat. Lack of cheap unreliable labor. Haha <laughs> it's the only thing I miss about living at home. Getting my younger siblings to do chores for me and paying them little pennies because they didn't understand the value of money yet. It can make you feel isolated from your peers, whether childless by choice or circumstance. Almost all of my friends had kids so they all gather for birthday parties and get to hang out. Since my wife and I have no kids, we're never invited to these events because why would we be? So you miss out on a lot of friend time. I'm having medical emergencies in my 40s and still need my 70 year old parents to bring and take me to appointments. Damn this one hits real. Getting taken care of when older especially when everyone else is gone is toughest, more so without kids. You have fewer excuses to use to call off of work. One of my co-workers never gets sick but somehow her son always does when she is scheduled to work on a Saturday. Holidays are kinda depressing. I went to watch my nephews open gifts on Christmas morning then spent the rest of day changing exhaust manifold gaskets, oil change, and a tune up on my truck just because I had nothing going on. I'm single. 40, no kids, no family near me. I have had some solo holidays that sucked and done that were lovely. If you have free time, I always suggest volunteering. I've met amazing people with common enough interests of all ages. Many turned into family. I also have single friends with grown kids. They're the ones I can count on for the holidays. Edit to say thanks for my best upvoted comment at 4.2k. I think it's best to frame having kids as going on an epic life changing adventure. There will be glory and wonder and there will be horrors. The highs will take you higher than you ever thought possible but man are those lows low. So con, you'll miss out on this epic adventure. But there are other paths to other adventures, ones with their own excitement and peril. Or maybe you're more of the stay in the shire type. That's fine too. I probably can't have kids, and this one made me tear up, kind of healing for me actually so thanks for the reminder. I have no heirs for my fortune. I have to count on a gold digger wanting to inherit. I hope you find one thoughts and prayers. When I want to impress my wife by doing the dishes, I can't just secretly get the kids to do it for me. I tell my dishwasher to do it. Having to pick up the dog shit in the yard myself. It's okay. Your kids will promise they will do it when you get the dog and then never pick it up once. No one to bring you the remote. I'm old so when I was a kid I was the remote. I would like to think that raising my own children I would be able to teach them kindness and acceptance to help rid the world of the stupidity that we can't get over. I likely won't have that chance at least on my own children, but planning to volunteer to maybe help others children. One of the main reasons I'm a childless teacher. I like to think I'm a good person and a strong role model for the kids. I don't want all the cons that come with having kids, 
especially financially, given I'm a teacher and my wife is on disability, but I do like being able to pass on to my students kindness, tolerance, and secret ways to get around font size in a document. You always get the so when are you having kids question. And it's always followed by oh that'll change. At the age now where my friends from high school are shipping their kids off to college and becoming late 30s empty nesters. Basically regaining all of the perceived benefits of us childless folk, but with a whole adult offspring out in the world. That part seems pretty cool, but still no regrets on my end. Damn your friends had kids young. I'm mid 30s and my friends with kids are all in the elementary school days still. My work makes me not only work more hours, but they also make me work the hours no one else can work because they have kids. Like later shifts and overnights. Also during COVID, people with kids could 100% telework and most still do partially. Since I don't have kids I had and still have to come into the office every single day, no exceptions. When others with kids ask for vacations days, they always get priority, even if I asked and got it approved first. I've told my work no more than once and they are shocked when I remind them that just because I don't have kids doesn't mean I don't have a life outside work. I'd say one con is that I since I don't have to get up early on the weekends to shuttle kids to games and events, I sometimes sleep in later that I expected. You wake up. And you've missed breakfast at MCD's, and have to order from the lunch menu. No hash browns for you. It sucks. In a sea of very heavy answers, this one made me smile. A lot tougher finding spare kitten is when one goes bad. I don't understand it. If you donate a kidney, you're a hero. But when you walk into the hospital with five kidneys, suddenly they're all like we're calling the police. Loneliness. As you age and your friends have kids themselves you will increasingly find that you have no one but your SO to do things with. It's especially bad in retirement as long term friends and family start to die off. You could easily find yourself with absolutely no one to talk to. My cousin died in the front two rows of his funeral were just his friends kids and their family they loved him and were devastated by his relatively early death. So many of the stories told about him were about how active he was in their childhoods. I love my friends kids and intend to be as present. Your friend pool gets really really small because they all have kids and they can't do jack s anymore. Every tax refund season. I work with older people mostly those with serious and complex medical problems. Very often the role of carer falls to the childless adult child. Due to the perception they don't have anyone else to take care of us it's their duty. Having to listen to all the parents tell you what a joy raising a family is. You have to laugh at your own farts. Well, when I die, I die. Potentially, nothing of myself lives on. I'm also the end of my family line. I have half siblings, but only I have the name. I like to say that when people ask why I don't have kids. The family line ends with me sounds pretty metal. According to Reddit there are none. Having kids is a drain on your finances, your personal well-being, and ruins the planet. I had one because I thought we could provide a loving, stable home to raise someone who could be a productive member of the next generation of people. It's also fun to pass down traditions such as dressing up and trick or treating for Halloween, drinking out of the hose in summer, that the proper way to eat ice cream is with sprinkles. I knew I would miss out on that if I didn't, it's sort of intangible and lots of people on here would say it's not worth it. I don't expect them to take care of me when I'm old, but I'd be honored to still be a part of their life when they are an adult. The fact that you don't automatically assume but instead would be honored to still be in your kid's life just hit me deep. My parents were pretty awful and definitely expected me to take care of them when they got older, which is not in the cards because they were both awful to me growing up, lol. It sounds like your kid is lucky to have you. Deleted. You need a new boss WTF. As a woman, 
nobody respects you you are looked at as less of a woman for being childless as someone who works with children and has none of my own. I am constantly looked down upon. People always telling you what you are missing out on. People keep asking you when you're going to have kids. Heck. My husband and I are in our 40s 50s with 7 adult kids between the two of us. And people still ask if we're going to have more children. People need to stop asking other people about their reproductive goals. So when are you going to have number 8? As someone who's not married and has no children, it would be nice to have a closely bonded group of relatives to come home to every day. People with kids explaining what the cons of not having kids are. Eventually most or all of your friends will have kids and you'll be left out of a lot of things. Life hack: don't have friends and then you won't have to worry about missing out. No one to blame for not achieving your goals. No one to marry off to secure strong relations with neighboring kingdoms. I'm thinking how my Christmas dinner would look like in 30 years. Everyone gives you a fucking hard time about it and you get told you will regret it. Figuring out how to cope with that.